Alright guys, um thought I'd give you a quick quick look at my new Orania acoustic guitar. So uh I'll give you the specs on it first. So it's a Sitka spruce top, ebony bridge, bone saddle, uh, it's Bobinga back and sides. It's a plainish wood looking wood, but it's 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 got, it's got a nice enough grain, you can kinda it's got a reasonable kind of sort of pinkish reddish color uh, i picked bobinga because i played one of donald's guitars that had bobinga back in size and i just fell in love with the sound of it it was very balanced across all the frequencies it has a ebony fretboard with the mother of pearl dots and if you can see there's a, a very subtle little maple it's an inlay it's just a tiny strip of maple that's inlaid all around the fretboard and all around the headstock you can see it there as well uh, ebony fr uh, ebony front on the headstock ebony back on the headstock it's a three piece well it's five piece neck it's mahogany with two maple little strips and a mahogany in the middle another little piece of ebony there and ebony tuner buttons just to keep the old ebony theme going um, it's got a I have a Fishman uh, Matrix Blend Eclipse, I think it's called. Ellipse, Ellipse Blend. And uh, it's it's installed inside the sound hole there, you can see. And it's a very simple pickup system. It's just got a, a volume, a phase button, and it has a, a, a blend. So it blends from the, the piezo, which is under saddle piezo pickup, to a microphone. So it's a little gooseneck, which you probably won't. Oh, maybe you can see it there. A little gooseneck which you can move around inside the bot inside the uh, guitar to pick up to find your favorite position. Um, so, just give you a quick listen to the acoustic sound of it. I'll just move, move closer to the camera. Bobinga as well is that it's, um, it's a, a nicely balanced sounding wood for an acoustic in my opinion it's it's not overly bassy or trebly it's kind of very even across all the frequencies so it's good for strumming it's good for finger picking like for single note stuff. Okay, so I'll give you a listen to the pickup now. Um, so I'm just plugged into my Helix, into my stereo studio speaker, so just have a touch of reverb on. I set it all the way to the the piezo for the mo for the first for the first bit. I'll let you hear that. So. No EQ on anything here. It's just completely flat. Just a tiny bit of reverb. That's the piezo. Um, I'll flip it to the microphone now. You can hear the microphone. Picks up all the my voice included. Uh, mm -hmm. 
sounds a little the microphone is a little bit louder but um, you there is a trim there's a little there's a little trim uh, control that you can adjust the volume of the, the microphone so I'm gonna knock the, the blend back just slightly towards the piezo that's kind of where I like like it to be that sounds really kind of natural even if it's just all the way to the piezo and then just blend in a little bit of the microphone. Um. Might add, add a little bit of body. Takes that kind of very... Ah, piezo pickups, piezo pickups sound, kind of all sound that's very similar. A bit flat sounding, so the mic add just adds a little bit of body and bit of the, the sound of the actual guitar. So I kind of find it it's nice, just just somewhere between all piezo and, and blend and, and the midway. So I'm I'm very very happy with the guitar. It just it sounds so beautiful and plays great. The other thing uh, which um, was a personal thing for me was that the neck has no lacquer on it. So as you can see, it's uh, the body is gloss. But the neck, I'm gonna turn this down again. The neck is oiled, so there's an oil and wax finish on the neck, so there's no thick, glossy lacquer. Uh, now it still looks finished, you know, it doesn't look like raw wood because the, the oil has been layered on and buffed and layered on and buffed. So there's about, I think, three or, f three or four coats of oil and then a couple of coats of wax on it, so it feels super smooth and um, very comfortable to play um, so yeah so anybody in the market for an acoustic you you really you'd be silly not to not to at least consider one of Donald's guitars cedar tops he also uses a uh, northern spruce as opposed to sitka he uh, he'll do he has a um, he does walnut back and sides he does rose various types of rosewood a wood called macacuba which I, I played one of those guitars the other day very interesting um african blackwood he he's got lots of of different uh, back and side woods that he can use so you like you you, you know your guitar could be completely unique uh, to what you want so yeah, check check out uh, Donald Oranya um, and Oranya guitars. Jeez, that's the wrong there. So yeah, thanks for watching.